oh my god guys there's not my phone in the streets of nairobi kenya oh my god vlogging gone wrong hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kem tell bear don't forget to like and comment and subscribe today we are going to kariakom market guys me i have this notion i know how to cook chapo but it depends with the cookware huh? so i'm going to go and buy the karais you know them and they're only found at kariako or gikomba so today we are taking you to kariako market don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is my otd of the day sunnies from famo because my eyes when join and choma na patanga headache so let me show you my otd of the day from here this is how i look I'm trying to look not expensive because when you look expensive they will charge you more hey this cape why is it supposed to be warm hmm let's go <laughs> inside Kariako right now and there are so many merchandise guys we are back home from karako market oh my god guys my phone was about to be stolen and you know i have an iphone can you imagine if i've come home my phone stolen so david 
I went with David so that he can be my cameraman and I wanted to go to Kadiako market so that I can vlog for you and guys and show you an open hair market. You see like sellers, handmade things, handcrafts from the sellers. But you know, everyone goes to Kadiako market for different businesses. And one of these people are pickpocketers. There are a lot of pickpocketers down, downtown Nairobi and you must be careful when you're in Nairobi. People always ask me, how do you vlog? How do you vlog came to out and about? I try and uh, and vlog responsibly because pickpocketers, especially people who steal your phone, is very, very, very common in Nairobi, especially downtown River Road, um, dark alleys, <laughs> narrow alleys in Nairobi town, even in the streets like Home Street, you can get robbed of your phone. It depends on which neighborhood, which street you are, like in Nairobi, like Kayako is the part where it's called Kanairo for a reason, guys. So David was so scared to vlog me. I was like, David, vlog me this time. Like we missed so many opportunities when we were, we were buying stuff because David was scared. I was like, why David don't you want to vlog me? Like record right now, record right now. But David actually told me that there's some some men who are looking at the camera and he felt really awkward vlogging he felt like he'll lose my phone and it will be a mess so it's better we argue about not recording like losing an opportunity to record instead of of losing our phone because it will have been so traumatic guys it will be very traumatic for me to lose my phone oh my god guys this is just a why i just want to buy a dji maverick or just a gopro the small the small because not many people know about like that camera they think it's just small thing and then maybe i'll just be giving like the camera guy to wear like to wear on the body or up here because i want to do lots of street videos for you guys but uh, the stealing thing is i can't guys but uh, we were able to manage to record some clips so you'll see them on the video so guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe it has been a mess and if you are new to nairobi or you are still in nairobi just be careful your phone i've had my phone i've had my phone stolen like oh my personal experience three times the first time i got my phone stolen it was my first phone my sister had given me when i was in college it was a flap metro flap phone How, motorola yes it was called a motorola so my, my sister had given me and it was a flap and it was like i was sleeping i was living in um where around where was i living i was sleeping in Bamburi, yeah, in Bamburi, Mombasa, and my phone was stolen when I, in bed. You know, the Mombasa, the way they have net mosquito nets and then uh, wire, and then there's no like, uh, there's no like derishas. So they, they, they in any parted the way the wires, and my phone was stolen when I was asleep. So I've, <laughs> ever since that day, I was always as scared to sleep with my phone. Even right now, I can't sleep with my phone. When it's time for bed, I have to put my phone away somewhere far from the window because that's my first experience. The second experience is when I was like I was hired first at a job, and then I bought my same Nokia. Eh? That Nokia didn't even last two days. I enjoyed my Nokia only one day for my first salary. I bought the phone and the second day I was from work. We were doing night shift. So it was like early in the morning. So FM, my phone, when I was going from Matatu, because this is another place where you should be very, very like aware, be aware when, when we are, and sometimes even conductors and drivers are into this mischief. They steal from the customers and then they split the earnings so i was but i was alighting yeah i was alighting so the the conductor and another i don't know if it's the friends or what they was on the door so i was like pushing myself compared the moment i was pushing myself they were pickpocketing my my phone it was on my handbag and then kushuka i had no phone imagine a two-year-old phone then the latest experience is this one for Kariako. I was like Karibu until I just had to cut. David said, no, no, Kemundo, we are not going to vlog here. It's better we leave, lose this content instead of you losing your iPhone. Uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So 
I think I'm just gonna invest in a DJI Maverick if I want to do these street videos. Uh, yeah, so if you are a tourist or you are a foreigner or even you are a uh, person from, like, just beware, you can get your phone stolen. So the best way is never to re remove your phone from your bag and always beware. Huh? At least in Nairobi town, maybe the upper seed, upper Nairobi CBD, it's more safer than the lower CBD because in Nairobi town, I've had a lot of bad experiences things being stolen my emshwari nini nini so just always be careful and let me know about your stories down below down 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 okay that's all i have to do uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and more awesome contents are coming on my channel we are already at 39,000 subscribers we're in the road to 40k that's the short term goal but the long term is 100 but the rate we are going i think we are gonna reach 100k by june which is my birthday <laughs> okay guys bye Don't